Hey guys, Pat here. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds like a little off. I'm actually super sick right now, but hey, perfect time to just chill at home and record some YouTube videos. So if my voice starts to go or is gone by the end of this video, I'm sorry, but hopefully you guys will still be able to understand me. But we're going to be playing some more of Jump. Um, I love this game. I love it. I love it. I love this game, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm going to get Jump going and let's jump right into this. Ha ha ha. I know it's a jump. Let's play. No, I have to start back all the way back over here again. I'm gonna have to like play some music in the background for you guys so this isn't like so boring to watch. Markiplier's dog's name is also Chica. But my family decided to get this one dog and they're gonna name him Chico, because he's a boy, and they decided to get a girl instead, so they just call her Chica. I had no idea how the heck to use the computer, so I would just literally go, and I would just push random buttons until I got this guy that like taught you how to work the computer, and I only used to sit there just so I could listen to him talk, just straight up, just so I could listen to him talk. that is on the left side of your office, you see Bonnie and Chica and Freddy performing on stage. But who is the one animatronic that you don't see? Exactly. I don't know. Like, Foxy, in my personal opinion, Fo like I said in so many other my videos, Foxy is by far my favorite one of them all. By far, my absolute favorite. I mean, Foxy is just... I can relate to Foxy. 
Foxy. Chicken out soul. Considering the fact that I've been like Chicken the total cool owner of the group. Chicken and out soul. I'm always just. Chicken out soul. I'm the wallflower. I'm just the one that's in the back of the group. Chicken out soul. I'm just like Chicken chilling. Just having fun. Chicken. Doing my own thing. I'm that one person that if I Chicken ever go to a party, I'm always Chicken that one that makes friends Chicken with the dog, or the bird, or the snake, or whatever animal is there. I'm just that person, and Foxy is totally under... I keep on... Ev okay, so if you guys have ever seen bedtime stories, little kid has a terrible time saying underappreciated, so he's just underdemonstrated. So I started saying that, and it's kind of a pain in the butt for me not to say underdemonstrated instead of underappreciated. But no, Foxy is really underappreciated. And it's like so sad. Um, I keep on saying I'm a lot. Mm -hmm. I get in trouble for hunting the class a lot. Because it really is distracting. Even though I don't know how, because in fact I sit in the back of the classroom where I have maybe one person around me and that person is listening to music the entire time and like zoning out while I'm actually doing my work. That time. Oh. And I really like Foxy, except Fox, I refuse to go on Google and look for fan art of any Five Nights at Freddy's character because I know how the internet is, and if I look at fan art of like any FNAF character on Google, I am going to be completely doomed. Now, the fan art that some of you guys have sent me, I've absolutely adored. I loved it bits. Oh my goodness, I loved it to pieces. <laughs> I love the fan art. And it's super sweet, and some of you guys put a lot of thought into it. It just, it just makes my day. <laughs> I like fangirl of your guys' fan art. Weird, huh? You no, know, I love it. I really do. So, if you guys are watching this, who is your favorite or least favorite Five Nights at Freddy's character and why? I'm kind of curious because I know one of my friends, she adores Chica. Everything is Chica, Chica, Chica. And I cannot stand Chica. Chica is definitely my least favorite of all the fucking characters. Original Chica. I have died so much to that bird that I can't even comprehend the anger that I have for her. Not the anger, but I don't know how to put this. Oh my goodness, I can't move again. Sorry guys, my um keypad has been acting up a little bit. There we go. I've died so many times to that bird. And just... It's kind of funny, I cannot stand Chica, except I have a dog named Chica, so I love one Chica and just like the other. It was so funny, me and, what, me and that friend of mine actually got into an argument about who was better, Chica or Foxy. And, oh my goodness. Um, but it was fun. I mean, I love getting into stupid debates like that. And then we like sit there and discuss the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's and Sister Location, especially with Sister Location. Granted, it is a good game, but I definitely have my criticism for it, but I'm going to keep that to myself, but I definitely have my criticism of the game. Yeah, I will probably never understand the casual bongos and exotic butters, even though there's so many remixes of exotic butters, thanks to Markiplier. Oh my goodness. I'm 
and my little sister set that as my ringtone. I'm like, oh my god. I'm not gonna tell my sister. I will throw gummy bears at her. Like, this is this. But no. Stupid things like that that my friends and I get into. And then we get into arguments about how to say a word. Like, some people say mountain, some people say mountain, some people say eaten, some people say eaten. And some people say tomato, tomato, potato, potato, boss, base. It's just all what you say. And then here I am. I come up with all kinds of funny words. I I have a terrible time talking, even normally. Like I can say tongue twisters, like unique New York, unique New York, yada yada yada. I can say tongue twisters just fine. It's just talking normally that throws me for a loop. <laughs> Horrible, but it's kind of funny. And my friend, she cannot say toy boat without saying toy boy. It is so hard for her. Except one of my aunts can't say electricity. Electricity. Wow, I just said that how she does. She says electricity, and it's not birth certificate. It's birth certificate. And invitation is invitation. Oh my goodness, it's all kinds of weird. into Pokemon Go. I mean, he's got a Pokemon Go freaking tank top, jacket, hoodie, just everything in Pokemon Go. And he is Team Valor. Granted, I played Pokemon Go and I got to like level 20 something. I mean, I walk a lot, so when I have time, I'll, I will walk. Probably hours on end. Oh, pardon me, y'all. So I got something that I can do while I walk. And he just annoys the daylights out of me because I grew up with Pokemon being on cards and on the Game Boy, where if you wanted to trade Pokemon, you had to physically go to that person and connect a cord from their Game Boy to yours in order to trade Pokemon. And just yeah. I just like the classic games better than I do the modern games. Granted, the modern games now are the graphics are obviously improved. Um gameplay, story, just the smoothness of the games is definitely improved over the years, but then again if we didn't have all these old 8-bit Atari games, um, we wouldn't have the new games that we do now. Like Tomb Raider, for example. The newest Tomb Raider, oh my lord, it can... That game completely threw everything about Tomb Raider on its head. Tomb Raider is supposed to be an adventure slash puzzle game. And granted, sometimes you got so pissed off with those puzzles and you're just like, screw it, I'm looking at a walkthrough. But no, and they took it and just made it the Rise of the Tomb Raider, and it honestly... It, is, it doesn't do the j game justice, in my opinion. I've played all of the Tomb Raider games, including Rise of the Tomb Raider, because I'm like, hey, Tomb Raider, I think I'll like this. Uh, and I liked it. Granted, graphics were pretty damn good. Storyline was pretty good. Um, I just didn't like how it threw everything practically out the window about Tomb Raider. That's my only critique for this game. For that game, I mean. It's just kind of sad that people change things so much. Oh, no. And, for example, movies. We do the exact same thing with movies. We take a classic movie and try to modernize it, and it ruins the movie. Granted, I'm not going to be 
bashing on any movies, I'm just throwing an example out there, like Ghostbusters. In my opinion, the classic original one will always be better than the new version. But that's just me. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. I'm not knocking anybody's opinion. You have a right to like what you want and believe what you want. If no one tells you that you're doing it right, then you can't say doing it wrong. You can't say you're doing it right. It's just I like classic games and movies and other such stuff. I mean, I'm not even gonna get started on the fly. Not the fly. Wow, the Friday the Thirteenth um movie remake. I despised it with a bleeding passion. Oh. But if any of you horror fans are out there and you're watching, I highly suggest downloading the app Horror Amino. H-O-R-R-O-R space A-M-I-O. A-M-I-O. It is super fun. Super, super fun. And I'm going to check my spelling on this. Like it. It's not felt in there. Yeah, it's A M I N O. And it is a super, super fun app. I mean, you find out all kinds of things and other horror movie game fans. It's just a lot of fun. I spend probably 20% of my free time on that app. I'm on there more than Facebook. Because in all honesty, I really don't like Facebook. Granted, I have one. So I can keep in contact with friends from my old school. And keep in, track, in touch with a family that lives across the states. So I have family all over the United States. I mean, I have family in Oregon. And I have family in Oregon, Florida, Texas, Missouri. Kentucky. I got family all over the dang place. And I've got a crap ton of family here in my home state of Colorado. I mean, one cult of bag has six of my aunts and uncles and god knows how many cousins. And again, family isn't always blood. Blood makes you related and loyalty makes you family. That's my personal Granted, blood may be thicker than water, but sometimes a nice glass of water is refreshing. Hi, hey, everybody can believe what they want. Yeah, I am just like totally going on a rant trying to beat this level, which I will do eventually. Keyword being eventually. Chica's uh, just over there snoozing. Laying on the side of my bed, just racked out. It's kind of funny because she blends in with 90% of my pillows that are on my bed. Practically everything in my room is black. And she's like this black, silky, silkiness, and she's like, she's like, she's like, ever since. And then I have like a lava lamp over here. That's probably the only color thing. Brightly colored thing. Pardon me, but I got like a ton of bad ass stuff everywhere. But my lava lamp, with it, which is bright blue and green, is probably the most brightly colored thing in my room. I'm wearing a tank top that has like a bunch of little splotches of color on it. I just really like the color black. I mean. Black will go with everything, except different shades of black. And that's a true story. Like when you try to wear an all black outfit and just ends up being 50 shades of black. It's just Even my clothes and my ears are black. And my industrial ears are black. I'm getting new body jewelry and I'm so kind of- I'm all kind of stupid. Actually, getting my black lip ring finally 
because I had one for the longest time and then my little sister and I were scuffling around playing and she hit me in the face accidentally with her foot and it knocked my lip ring clean out of my mouth and go figure it's in my room black carpet and we could not find it at all oh my lord we sat there with flashlights and just combed through my entire room. We even vacuumed and went through the gunk that the vacuum picked up. We still didn't find it, so, was like... so I dealt with my silver one. It's actually titanium, but I dealt with this one for a while, and so I'm going back to my last one. Granted, if I want to see. My grandpa doesn't like me wearing the black one because it's going really school. But I mean, I just like the color black. And I enjoy it. But when we go to church and everything, I'll switch it out to the silver. Does she need to go out, honey? Nope, she's doing just fine. You okay? Yeah. Right. That was my grandpa coming in to check on the dog. So she needs to go out at the party. You know, just signature. She's cute though. I take her for a walk almost every night if I can, and that if I'm feeling up to it. <laughs> but she does the weirdest thing. She'll turn around and she'll grab onto the leash and she'll like pull you forward. So she's pretty much just walking herself while playing an endless game of tug of war. She is the goofiest freaking puppy I've ever met. And my dog Ginger will eat almost everything. Watermelons, she'll eat oranges, she'll eat carrots, she'll go gaga for carrots. And this dog won't even eat french fries. Chica will not eat french fries. She'll eat pizza, which is kind of funny and ironic, but she will not eat french fries. It's the weirdest thing ever. I've never met a dog as sneaky as this one. But hey, she's a cute. She's only been. She's actually a new member of our family. She's only been here for um a week. Come Friday, so a week come tomorrow. Oh, and speaking of Friday, where what are you guys gonna be for Halloween? Feel free to comment what you're gonna be either that or a picture of your costume. I mean, I love Halloween. Halloween is definitely one of my favorite holidays. When I had my guinea pig, yes, I had guinea pigs. I had, well, I had Bugsy, and then he got pneumonia and died, and I had him for like three years, so that's heartbreaking. And then I got Black Ice. No, I got Snow. And then I got Black Ice. Black Ice, I-C-E, not eyes. Um, and the reason why we called her Black Ice is because on the way home, we hit a sheet of Black Ice and we almost wrecked the car. Which was oodles and oodles of fun. Scare the daylights out of guinea pig. Um, but no, and then her and Snow got along great. And then Snow passed away at old age, because I had him for about... Well, he was five when I got him. And I had him for three years, five, six, six. Yeah, so he's eight years old. Black Eyes is still alive. Um, we had to give her away to another family, because I moved a shit ton in the past few years. Um, and when I mean past two years, I mean like past two years, probably like eight plus times. But I'm actually somewhere where I've actually stayed for longer than a month, so I'm kinda stoked about that. You know, so we had to give her away, and then my little sister got one, and we named him Ruffles, because he has these funky little ruffles on his hair. He just looks adorable. So Ruffles and Black Ice got along just fine, and we had to give those two away. Which was sad, but I knew that we couldn't take care of them. It was heartbreaking. They grow on you, just like any other animal. They're just super sweet. It's just sad. I mean, I still miss them. What's the game did? She was the cutest little thing ever. She had, um, her fur was really weird, because on each little strand of fur, it was actually black, gray, and white, so it was black closer down to the root of the fur, root of the fur, 
gray in the middle and white toward the end. So she had this it's really like cool, hot chocolate. creamy snow colored look, which was so pretty. She was so cute. And she loved the instant cup ramen noodles. And I used to, she used to run around the house with her harness and everything else. And when I used to have noodles, she used to jump up on the couch and like steal them out of my bowl when I wasn't paying attention. So I just got to the point where I just gave her some. And she loved watermelon. She actually really liked cucumbers, which is weird for her anyway. Because my guinea pig Snow hated cucumbers. Yeah, Snow pretty much hated everything. He loved his food and he went gaga for hay. He went absolutely nuts for it. Yeah, my family and I have had quite a few animals over the years. And fish. We've never done really well with fish because I've had Hades and Apollo and Purple Polo for almost a year. Yes, my little sister decided to name the purple one and she called it Purple Polo. And then here I am with Hades and Apollo, the ruler of the underworld, and Apollo's the god of the sun. So, it's just all kind of fun. But, yeah. When I was younger, I was like two or three at the time, and my mom had this gigantic saltwater fish tank. When I mean gigantic, I mean probably 65 gallon to 100 gallon tank. It had live rock, so coral and plants and all kinds of cool stuff in there. And one day, the yellow tang got some air underneath his gills. Granted, I was completely oblivious to this. I was two years old, and he was floating sideways. I thought that he had a stomach ache. So what did I do? I went to the fridge, I grabbed a bottle of Pepto-Bismol, poured the entire thing in the tank, and killed everything. I mean, I didn't mean to. I was just trying to make him feel better. I didn't mean to. But no, and then what? I then I got a fish, and I named him Gerald. It was weird. I named him Gerald. I called him Jake. His name was Gerald Jakeish Roach at the time. So JJR. So I just called him JJ. Because Roach was my dad's last name. Adams, which is my last name, was my mom's last name. Is my mom's last name. No, no, no. No. And then I used to put him in like a little cup with water in it, obviously. And then the old, old roller skates that you could adjust to your shoe, shoe size. And I would do that and close it around him and just like strap him in there and then attach like a little string or a leash onto the roller skate. And I just used to roll him around the hallway. So I took my fish for a walk. I took my friend's ferret for a walk. He was really cute. But then again, I just love animals. <laughs> I love all kinds of animals. I mean, fish, birds, snakes, spiders, tortoises, turtles, tortoises, amphibians, leopard geckos, and bearded dragons are two of the animals which I never had and I really want. I mean, my cousin had a bearded dragon and she was gone forever, so I took care of her bearded dragon and the thing hated me and it bit me so freaking much, but she was cute. I mean, I would take her out of her tank and let her run around the bathroom while I took a shower. She loved the steam. Loved it. And it was also good for her skin when she was shedding. Nope, I let her run around. She eventually grew to like me, but about that time we gave her away along with our guinea pigs to other people because we were moving and we knew that we could take care of them during the move and it was just insane. The only animal that I somewhat have left is my kitty Mufasa. Um, except my mom has him and my grandpa won't let me have my cat Mufasa here. And it kind of breaks my heart because he's my baby. The reason why I call him the boss is because one day my grandpa comes to our, our house up, up at our old house before we move. 
and I heard this god awful swallowing coming from outside. And it was freezing cold, it was probably it was mid-October, and I found this little kitten laying on his side, frozen to the ground and soaking wet. He was soaking wet and like his fur was frozen to the ground, so I took a hair dryer outside from an extension cord and like defrosted him. Because I didn't want to rip him up off of the ground because I knew that would tear his fur and just hurt him real bad. So, I took him in and I just named him Mufasa because, I mean, the, same, the name seemed to fit and it just sounded super cute. And, and at, except 98, my mom's cats, all our cats' names start with M. So there was Big Mac, Little Mac, so Mac and Mac. Um, Mau Mau, and then Mufasa. So, and he was super cute, cool. He slept in my room for the first two weeks, and oh my goodness, that cat squalled and squalled, and if I didn't pet him, he would lick my face. And if you've never had a cat lick you, it feels like wet sandpaper. No joke. Feels like what? But he's just trying to show me bubbles, and even today he still does the exact same thing. So I hardly ever get to see him anymore, and I like cry my eyes out when I get to see him. But then I have him to pieces. He's my baby boy. He's mama's little handsome bag. Nothing. It's just because. Um. And then I had a dog named Yogi. Well, my mom did. And Mau Mau is actually 26 years old. She's going on 27. She's an old, old cat. Um, but my dog Yogi, she's a Pomeranian and a Papillon. And she has got little Grinch feet and gigantic ears. She's a Papillon. And she's just adorable. Especially, like, when we shave her, we have enough fur to make another Yogi. Like, it's bad. Because her fur is so thick, but she's got these gigantic ears, and it's just so adorable. And that's pretty much my pet. I used to have a pet spider. I found him on the side of the road. Well, I didn't find him on the side of the road. There's um, a town here up in Colorado, and it's called Windsor, and there's like a bunch of wild tarantulas that just like run around everywhere. And you can literally just stop and pick them up. Um, so that's what I did. I got one of them. And I know this is going to sound totally stupid, but as long as you don't blow on them, they won't bite you. Like, true story. It's the weirdest thing ever. Because, like, oh, how it came about, because we were in Windsor, and my buddy's like, hey, Hannah, I bet you won't go pick up a tarantula and keep it as a pet. I'm like, you want a bet? I'm like, stop the dang car. So I stopped the car, I waited, and then I went and I found one, and I just walked up to him, and I picked him up, and I put him in a box, and I took him home. He lived for like a year or so, and then my cat decided to try to eat him, which didn't work well. My cat's okay, by the way. Tarantula didn't kill my cat. Um, my cat just got the shit scared out of him. Like, my dog Yogi, um, she loves to chase things. Loves, loves, loves to chase things. Like, she, my cats aren't the ones in the house who kill the mice, it's our dog, Yogi, who kills the mice. Now, our cat Mau Mau, since she's so old, she has practically no teeth left, so she's just pretty much playing with it, and then here comes Yogi along and just bites it and snaps its neck. Taking away Mamma's little boy. You know, and our dog Yogi loves prairie dogs, but she hates like firearms, like guns showing off, and she hates fireworks. But prairie dogs, she will go barreling after, and if she can't catch it, she'll like dive into the hole and start digging to get after it. So we gotta watch her pretty closely. And she also chases deer. If she had an extra inch and a half, two inches on her legs, 
she to catch it. Not sure what she would do with it, since the fact that she's no bigger than my ankle, but not sure what she'd do with this, but she would sure as heck catch it. It's so funny because Yogi is terrified of Mau Mau. When Mau Mau walks by, Yogi Bear like lays on her back and plays dead, and then as soon as Mau Mau goes by, she goes back to being normal. Because Mau Mau, nobody messes with Mau Mau. Mau Mau is the big kahuna. Every, every cat is scared of her because if she wants a spot, she gets a spot. And if someone's in her spot, granted she, she can claw on them. But she won't. She'll just like walk over and they'll lose me. It's the cutest thing ever. I'm going to keep trying this for a while. Ugh. As I die. So what animals do you guys have at your house? Like any interesting and exotic animals? Ooh, hedgehogs. I love hedgehogs. Oh my goodness, hedgehogs are adorable! When I get older, I'm going to move to a state where I can adopt a pet fox. Because I want a fox so bad, because they're so cute! They're just adorable. Even though my super focusedness is not gonna- See? Told you it's not gonna do me any good because I'm gonna die in anyway. Like, this game isn't impossible, it's just a pain in the butt for me to beat it. Kin- Cause you just use your arrow pad- arrow keys, except you can't jump up without moving forward and then jumping. That's kind of why. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna end that episode here. Don't wanna bore you too much. Hey, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you guys have any ideas for future videos, please let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that I made your day better in any small way possible. Whether it just be me, me boring you to death talking about how I killed off my mom's fish tank or how I took my fish for a walk or just my random animal stories. Well, anyway, guys, I look forward to see you, seeing you guys in the next video. And as always, stay safe. Bye, guys.